Oh, I was so sick last night. <laughs> I feel a whopping maybe 25% better today. Maybe enough to go around and actually film some stuff. Basically, I got in pretty late. There was a couple of lectures on fish that I'd really like to see, but I was really distracted by this terrible pain I had in my abdomen. And I uh, starting to question whether or not I should have actually made this trip or not. So I went upstairs and decided just to forgo any socializing, anything like that, any more education. I'm just going to go to bed and try to make the most out of Saturday. <sighs> that being said, what a beautiful view. Pretty gorgeous morning this morning. And so I'm going to go get a little breakfast, see if anything's open. It's actually kind of early. It's about 7.50. And uh, see if I can find anybody down there. Hey guys, I'm waiting on stuff to begin. I had a really nice breakfast and uh, met a few people that I met from the Big Fish deal and hung out just, to, just a little bit. Looks like Aquion's doing a giveaway for a 75 gallon setup. That's pretty neat. So as you attend these speaking events, you get tickets and you throw them in the hat for this 75 gallon tank. It's pretty cool. <laughs> now, now you need to be there when I win this, so that you know you get the follow-up pictures. So. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it's fate now. Yes. So what are you? What are you gonna put your ticket in for? Well, this one automatically has got to go to that, and the rest of them, I don't know. You are gonna hey. win something with these. I can feel it's like, it. I have a storage locker I rent to keep that I have tanks I've never set up, so it's not like I need another tank, but eh, you can <laughs> you can never have too many. Right? That's right. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Amen. the Aquila yeah. 40 gallon drinker because we all know we need yet another one. Amen. 731 218. So I had a lot of fun today hanging out. I'm about to go to the banquet. It's a, it's a Hawaiian themed banquet and uh, I'm looking forward to it. I got the chicken and pretty soon we're going to go in here and eat. One thing I did a lot here that I didn't do at the other conventions was attend the lectures. Uh, this particular convention didn't have a lot of aquascaping. Uh, it was very catfish centric and you know nobody's surprised by that but uh, there weren't a lot of setup tanks and that sort of thing to show there were a lot of speakers with some great information and that was really interesting but all, again very hard to film and show you guys uh, basically if I had done it it looked something like this the northern mad tom has very large barbs on the posterior and anterior okay now if you see look here Here's the other thing that's going on, is people are having spine, little pieces of spine broken off in their fingers. So even, even anglers who are going out just catching bullheads or uh, channel cats or something like that are um, mishandling them, really. And, uh, and then they'll get a piece in there, and then it gets, oops, it gets infected. So there, there's the piece right there on his third digit. This is a man. Really, it will get so infected, in fact, and these people will let it go. They won't, they won't really do anything. Oh, it'll just go away or I'll be better in a, you know, a few days or something. Well, they have to have their fingers amputated. So it gets that bad. That being said, it was a lot of fun. I learned a lot of stuff that hopefully I can bring back into the videos and tell you guys about at a later time. All right, so it is about time to leave. And unfortunately, there's no way in hell I shot enough stuff on this show to really justify a seven or eight hour trip. The thing is, I felt like garbage. I literally, I was so sick. My guts felt like they were coming apart for probably most of my vacation. So we went to Biltmore then we came back, I made a video, and then drove out here the next day. Driving out here was probably not the smartest idea. I mean, I didn't want to give up my tickets uh, in my hotel room and everything. I'd already spent real money on those things, and uh, I wasn't going to give that up easily. But this show, uh, it's, a, it's a really small show. It's a really great show, especially if you love catfish and you want to know more about catfish. I paid attention to more panels on this convention than I think I ever have at a fish convention. So the panels were very, very good, very, very interesting. There was no aquascaping. Like Aquion had a booth with a couple of setup tanks and some plastic plants and stuff, and that's the closest to aquascaping this um, I really saw here. So this wasn't one of those conventions where people bring tanks and set up really, really cool aquascapes like most of the other ones I've been to were. This one was really, really, really retail driven as far as like buying fish. And with that in mind, I missed one of the really big things that makes the show special, which is their room to room sale on Friday night. By the time I got here and kind of got settled in and stuff, I was pretty wiped out. I walked around for a little bit and um, I decided I really needed to go to bed. I'm glad I got some rest because the next day I felt great. And I'm just now starting to feel good. Like, I've been feeling bad since, I think, Tuesday afternoon. Nothing contagious or anything like that. Just something in my gut. And you know, stuff when, when, you're, when your guts are hurting. Man, it's hard to do anything. <laughs> so I'm packing up my stuff, and I'll see who else will talk to me. And maybe I'll score a couple more interviews on the way out. But not a lot of aquariums to show. I wanted to do, I wanted to do the, the catfish game, too. But the thing about shows like this is they have no intention, uh, like they don't think about you wanting to photograph these fish at all. So the tanks have water spots on them, uh, catfish tend to hide, so they're all up under filters and everything. So I'm going to try to do a catfish game video and put it together. Um, 
If it doesn't look great, I might uh, supplement with some catfish I see at some stores, some other retail stores and stuff, or maybe go back through my history of videos and see if I can find a bunch of catfish there too and mix them in and, uh, and make it a little bit more, you know, complete. Now the thing I missed is they take the whole third floor and everybody that's staying on that floor is basically selling fish and they've got a board up with what kind of fish that they've got. And you can walk around from room to room and uh, buy fish. Now I thought this was really unique, but apparently this is something that happens at a couple of different conventions. Now I've never seen it before. And I thought it was a really interesting shopping experience to kind of uh, walk from room to room. They did it again last night, and I was able to kind of walk around and get a sense of what it was like to, to kind of go from room to room and shopping for fish. And I talked to this one person about it who kind of set me straight on how common or uncommon it was. So we're in the we're here in the room sale, and uh, tell me, how unique is this experience to sell fish out of your room uh, compared to like the the normal setting for this sort of thing? Compared to the normal setting, hmm. Well, we see this a lot actually back home for OCA for the extravaganza, so this is kind of normal for us. But um, with catfish, though, so you know, back home we usually just see we see a lot of cichlids, killifish, uh, rainbow fish, but to have it specifically be for catfish is a little different. So. Um, it's really interesting to, to just walk from room to room to see all these various catfish species available. So it's a rare chance to, to see something uh, you may not see on a regular basis. So it's really not that unusual to sell, uh, to sell set a little stand and sell fish out of your room? It's not as unusual as you would think, <laughs> uh, but the general population probably thinks that it's very unusual. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, this is the first uh, convention I've been to where they where they've done that, but I have only been to maybe a handful of conventions. So uh, I think it's really cool, though. Yeah, uh, it's very neat. It's like a little shop in your in each hotel room. So it's really neat to just walk from room to room and see what people have available. So they do this convention every two years. So uh, in two years from now, if you're interested in this thing. Uh, it's definitely worth your time. It's a great convention, uh, especially if you're a catfish enthusiast, it's a must convention for you. So overall, it was a win. Now, was it worth it video-wise? Maybe not. <laughs> mostly, but mostly that's my fault. So I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to try to make up for some lost time, get some interviews, and make the long drive back to Knoxville. Great to meet you. Bye. <laughs> and that is it. I'm about to start that long drive back to Knoxville. I've said my goodbyes. I had a great time. This was a really different type of convention than what you'd typically see. I can't believe as much fish as I saw being sold 
I can't believe there's anything left today. <laughs> but there's still fish and bags all over the place in there for an all day auction and other products too. They have plants and uh, aquariums and aquarium, oh, really old, really neat old magazines. I love, I love like antique aquarium stuff and sometimes those old books and magazines from the 50s are pretty neat to thumb through. See how ignorant they were back then. <laughs> Bye, it's great to Bye. see you again. See you next time. I really want to see your place next time I come into town. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to visit. Yeah. It's good to see you, sir. Good to see you. Oh, Bye, man. Tony. It's good to see you again. Uh, it was a pleasure. We'll see you soon. Hey, I want to come see that Frankenstein fish room of yours. It's getting back there. It's, it's getting back in shape. Getting it's, back in shape? Yeah. It's, Maybe buy a big fish deal next year. Absolutely. Maybe I'll come uh, take That'd be a, great. my own little tour, okay? That'd be great. Thanks for coming. It's good to see Have you again. Good time. Yeah, you too, brother. Till next time, follow your bliss. Keep a clean tank, get some catfish. I'll see you soon.